So what's going on guys, the truck guy here. Wanted to get back to you with another video and today we're diving into the, the world of, make sure I'm recording here, the world of coarse, tall fescue. Um, mess here right now, kind of redoing a bunch of different areas. But as you can see out on the backyard here, I've got patches of tall fescue. This is extremely dry. I haven't been watering much because we've got some construction going on out front, which is affecting the irrigation system. But I've got all these clumps of tall fescue and I've been taking a few out at a time just by hand. Um, there's a few different applications you can do. Basically, you either dig it out or you go ahead and use Roundup on it, which kills everything, grass, weeds, non-selective herbicide. So what I'm focused on now is just, just going to dig up all the patches, um, see if that works. If it doesn't, I'm out a couple hours of manual labor, but uh, for the most part, I just want to see if it works. You know, it's not the biggest deal if my lawn isn't dry, um, then you can't even actually see it. So it's not a problem unless we're having kind of drought conditions like we have now, but I may just, you know, try to dig up this tall fescue just like this one clump at a time actually comes out pretty easy I'm just setting this aside I already got quite a bit and then uh, what I might do is just then just kind of fill this in with some topsoil reseed it you know, this fall, when I've actually got some moisture in the area and uh, see how it does. So, after watching a couple videos, it seemed like a lot of guys are going with the, the herbicide method, which is fine. I think if I had just one area, like I saw this one video, you guys will probably come across it where this guy has one clump of coarse tall fescue and I find it absolutely hilarious because he uh, resods the entire area but it's like about this big and look at everything I've got so I found it to be pretty hilarious just because he obviously had a really, really concentrated problem. Whereas most of us guys, we've got uh, much more major problems. So I'll probably have a, another update coming in a couple months, but let me know if you're having any issues with your coarse tall fescue. And I'll let you know if this works because if it does, this is gonna be incredible. <laughs> but obviously I'm gonna have spots all over the place for the time being, but uh, this stuff's a pain in the neck. But also guys, um, I think this should be a good experience or experiment for that matter because I haven't seen anything that's really showed the before and after of digging the, the coarse tall fescue. You know, obviously, we know how to use the the Roundup, but uh, it's kind of amateur hour, to be honest, guys, because that's, we all know how to do it. We just, it's not going to be the first thing we do on our lawn is throw a bunch of Roundup on it. I mean, we know how to kill our lawns, guys. So, um, so that's it. Uh, until I've got this all dug up, I'm not gonna put you through the pain and suffering of it. But uh, 
yeah, for the most part, it, it almost already looks a lot better with some of these clumps of tall fescue removed. So let me know what you guys think, if you think it's gonna work out or not, or if you think it's all gonna come back next year, might have to go the uh, more intense approach and uh, actually lay down some, some non-selective herbicide. But uh, yeah, that's it for the, uh, for all you trucketeers out there. Um, definitely check out the rest of the content on the Truck Guy channel. I know, I know you like the knife reviews. Um, you know, we're all about utility knives on the channel, but I like to broaden out to, you know, all stuff around the house and yard and definitely keep you guys engaged with what else is happening. So let me know if you're into some of the lawn care videos. I may have some more for you, but look at that. That comes out pretty easy. So, so let me know if you're a lawn care buff. I'm not, I'm not really one guys. Um, for all you trucketeers out there, we, we don't go hard on our lawns, but uh, we certainly like to keep them nice, you know, keep them in good shape. And if I wasn't having drought conditions like this, as you guys know, I'm up in Minnesota and you know, it's, it's gotten pretty bad the last couple summers up here. Um, but when we're not having this, you know, you may see this coarse tall fescue for, you know, you might see it for the first, you know, three, four weeks of the growing season. And then the rest of the grass just fills it in. But uh, it's been bad this year just cause when you've got the drought conditions, this thing just, you know, the clumps just stick out like a sore thumb. And I was saying it actually looked like my grass had pimples or skin condition or something. And, you know, for the first little while, I thought it was crabgrass. It's a common mistake. You know, if it's resilient like this, it's not crabgrass. If it's showing up right away at the beginning of the year, it's not crabgrass. It's tall fescue. And this stuff's, you know, obviously you can see it gets worse and worse down my lawn. But uh, if you guys know how this stuff starts, let me know. I'm on kind of a new property, so I haven't dealt with it before. But I was thinking, you know, did I put down a weird grass seed? Because I seeded a couple patches of and areas last year, but did I put down something weird that uh, started this whole mess? So let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Um, let me know if you like the video, comment down below. Let me know if you think this is gonna work. I'll have an update for you later this summer, but uh, that's it. Um, We'll talk to you on the next video, guys, and as always, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and appreciate the support.